Hello. Okay, so how, what have I gotten done? Um, so I talked a little bit about switching to the QR code method. Um, so I guess I will show that. Uh, just a standard QR code reader will be on the phone for the people doing the beta test. Um, you just scan the code, hit OK, and then unfortunately it's a two-step process right now because the the YouTube the version of YouTube that runs in the QR code player does not actually play spherical videos, so you have to hit this little jump to the YouTube app button um, in order to actually look at the video. Oh, good note. Okay, must have screen rotation on. Um, so then they'll be able to uh, search every video. So that's how it's gonna work. Um, I currently have a QR code for every spherical video on my channel and all of the videos that I made on the LVR channel that can be played in the spherical player. So a bunch of our stereo stuff is not in here um, and stuff. So this is my first attempt at organizing the things. Let's go through it a little. Um, some of them are by themselves. So this little section is adventures in San Francisco, filming in public, dress adventures, I didn't want you to miss the bill, stuff like that. Um, Ken's ceramic studio visit, I can't decide if that goes in adventures in San Francisco or not. Let's just put it there for now. Um, this is the music section. Um, <laughs> these are all the ones that will be crumpled pieces of paper um, over in the corner. Uh, there'll be screenshots from the spherical video, then uh, printed, colored, crumpled in the corner and sort of like a throwaway pile. Um, these ones were in the home category, but they seem more like demos. And so I tried to separate out like this group and this group are both um, all shot at my home, um, but this section is more like uh, making art, like collage and painting and things like that. And this one is more about my life. So um, this is just sort of a rough blueprint of the house. The living room is these four, our office, the um, the kitchen where it has the densest amount of video taken backyard, bedroom, and the basement. Um, I don't know if I'll keep this or not, or if I'll make like a dollhouse and put all of them in there. That seems kind of interesting to me. Um, let's see, what is over here? Oh, these are all travel videos. Um, I'm not sure if they'll stay in this yet. Baby viruses in my ears is very abstract, so it might not make sense as a like uh, in travel, but um, this is Montreal, and there is another Montreal video that I don't have a QR code for that's on the LVR channel that I need to grab from the Russian River. These were all taken in Baltimore, these were all taken in LA at VidCon. Um, I don't know, I haven't really decided about these if they'll stay in these categories, if they'll change. This is just my first try, so let's see. And then these. Uh, are all taken at the lab. Um, the laser cutter room and the cold room where my desk is, like on my desk, using like in the sound room, that kind of stuff. These um, these are at the couches near the projection end. Um, this one is in this room. This one specifically uh, I like a lot, but it's very abstract and I don't know if Situating it geographically in the lab makes sense. Um, I guess we'll see. Uh, dome ball. Let's see, playing, you know, like stuff on the floor, playing with lasers. A lot of this stuff has to do with like the laser system and the laser game jam and just printing things or like this row right here is all um, videos that were taken at the lunch table. And now that I have all these um, sort of organized like this, I've been thinking that this set might eventually live in the lab. I was thinking I might borrow Paula's um, little laser cut set that she's been making of like 
walls and people and stuff and make a sort of mini diagram of the lab to put these in. But um, for the player, since this room will be used as the, the sort of um, fake virtual environment, um, but eventually these might live in the lab. So I guess that's the other thing to talk about. Um, I decided that once I get all the physical objects for each one of these videos, done and the video attached and then have them organized in this room in some way uh, I will be pretending like it's virtual reality so I'm gonna have people sit out here and the door will be shut and I'm gonna laser cut a pair of glasses that they need to wear um, and I'll probably put like two bracelets on them as like, you know, hand tracking and there'll be like a little talk about how, like how you use the app and that kind of thing and um, tell them, you know, this is a virtual environment you're going to, it's fully physically tracked. But um, the thing I'm really interested in is how, it, if I enforce a kind of organization on the system, what, if I inform people that this instance is, is um, saved just for them, how they would reorganize it themselves if they're allowed to, to like make their own organization patterns. So I'm not sure how that will work yet, but we will see. I suspect the more something is laid out in a geographical location, the less people will reorganize it versus these videos, which are the more sort of art with a capital A videos, or is like these are the process videos. Um, I feel like these and probably the the crumpled videos and, and these will be more likely to get reorganized in interesting ways. But we'll see. I'm interested in that tension, some of which, you know, uh, you know, a blueprint of my home and a blueprint of the lab to see like just how that comes out basically. And how like what people are comfortable reorganizing and what they're not. Um, so yeah. Bye.